Hi folks, uh, last one before Christmas, it's Christmas Eve now, be going out in a couple of hours. Oh, it's a merry-go-round for some of you. So I'll write the paper all over, this is the cheap Fabriano Studio paint paper, could have used it up. Okay, bit of uh, sienna. Not sure what we're doing. The wooden scene. We've done a few snow pictures, so we'll uh, get a bit of burnt sienna over there as well. A bit of light red. Are you all ready for Christmas? All right, There's some dark in there. Bit of red, bit of bit of blue. Okay, we clip the paper. Don't want to spend a lot of time on this one. So we've got that top over. To dry the brush off and just take a little bit of cloud out of that. Not a great lover of blossing out, but it's uh, probably better with a with a brush. Right, I'm gonna put in some background trees. Uh, let's just take that brightness down a little bit. I think there's just a bit too bright there. Since I set the camera up earlier, I, uh, <coughs> I've uh, put the overhead spots on it. <laughs> so it's very tough at the moment. Although quite mild for this time of year. Got that nice stretch out so same colours with just a little bit of a background change the uh, set up all the colours burnt sienna with a bit of ultramarine you want the colours to to stick, you need to put them on thick. So that will do for a background. All right, let's uh, just turn that loose off of there. And we'll put in some heavier, oh, awesome. A bit of paint's grey. My paints are a, bit, a little bit dry. Shouldn't be. They've been you know, in a stay wet palette or overnight. Let's just put a bit of shadow in there. Or blue. Right, let's just lift out some bits and pieces out of this. Darker still. Put a bit of water in there, I think. like puddles after a bit of a storm, clearing rain. Oh, 
nice it's a nice yellow in there I was watching Charles Evans this morning excuse me I'm going to sleep <coughs> oh dear uh, painting a Moorland scene <coughs> oh I should have muted that shouldn't I I'll take that out in a minute okay nice green right try the brush clean it thoroughly Okay, that'll do. No, just because it's not dry. Should have done this earlier, but anyway, no matter. Well, all we need to do to that now is to dry it. I've been practicing with the mute to see it doesn't entirely go off. It cuts it by fifty percent. It's probably because it's so that's a very old hair dryer. Right, so we just come into there. Be no painting till at least Thursday. Uh, there we go. Right, we'll put a bit of a uh, bit more texture in that now. I'm going to use uh, the Frank Clark's uh, large hake, which I like very much. So a bit of this, a bit of that. Of undergrowth here. It's a lovely brush. It doesn't come to the a sharp edge like the Ron Ransom one, which is my workhorse. Right, let's put some glasses in there. Put a few trees in. All very simple stuff, isn't it? For Christmas, I'll give that another dry. Then I'll go in with some uh, background. Okay, I'll put some palette palette grey on just some just some harder bits and pieces before we go in with the uh, plenty of water with the rigger.
Okay, now I'm just using the, the large hake, uh, a bit of burnt umber and a bit of bit of blue. Uh, blue. Oh, that's for some uh, decent stuff in here. Bit heavier. Just a simple one for you to have a practice at if you get time. I'll do some rigor work on this, so it's just not really all uh, spindly. Uh, some slightly blue ones here. Going off into to the yonder. Now very very weak now. Oh, I hope you all have a great Christmas and New Year. But Uncle Joe doesn't get too drunk and crash into the telly. Okay. Just smash the brush up a little bit and just uh Actually thanks brush is a good good brush for this. More blue in there. Now we're we'll just a bit of a, some more of these. Uh, oops, too much water in there. I'm just going to lift off the the, the bits of the, the bottom is very wet there. All right, okay. All right, let's put some uh, some odd bits of leftover leaves. And into that I'll put some rigor work to connect the dots a little bit. A bit of sienna in there. I've kept the the left stronger than the than the right. Oh, okay now, after we want some, some lighter yellows, where the light's going to come from, so I'll put a bit of shadow, shadow cast shadows in. Okay, that'll do. Back to the rigger. You can do all this with a rigor if you wish. 
the the the, the hate does tend to give a nice impressionist broken feel. Okay. Ah, uh, awesome. Just a few bits here, just uh, coming down. What goes up? What's come down? Just to give a a little. impression of of uh, grasses just being reflected reflections tend to be a little bit darker okay I'll give that a signal this is quite a weak painting but for the last one before the festivities okay oh a bad little bird okay that'll do put in a mount <sighs> So there we are, a quick impression. Impressionist woody scene after all this rain is clearing, left quite a bit of uh, wet. No great masterpiece, but the last one before Christmas I think that's not too bad hope you enjoyed that folks thanks for watching and I really do hope you enjoy your Christmas bye bye